I, I guess secondary school, mm -hmm. uh, in form two around there. That's when I started uh, doing some rap here and there. I realized that I can I can write uh, music, mm -hmm. so I decided to uh, like start writing that hip hop thing. At that time, uh, everything was hip hop, so mm -hmm. I just got into the game. What kind of hip hop wa uh, were you listening to back in the day? Uh, this Your form two. I'm curious. Uh, some hardcore hip hop, maybe uh, yeah, it was back in the day. So it's like uh, Dr. Dre's, whatever uh -huh. Eminem's, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm I'm a very big fan of Talib Kweli. Talib Kweli. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, so how did you transition from secular to now gospel? Okay, uh, basically. Uh, okay, in hip hop, my basically my life has been a mess mm -hmm. uh, because I, I I got involved in addiction for like uh, a very long time, for more than 10 years. What type of addiction? Uh, I was addicted to alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be for about 10 years. Uh, so at that time, well, the hip hop I used to do was just secular, in the hardcore hip hop, because I was li listening to my mom, everything. Everything was is over to hardcore, hardcore. But recently, about uh, uh, one and a half years ago, uh, I I went to a place, is mm -hmm. Rehab mm -hmm. So I've been to a lot of rehabs in the past, mm -hmm. but. 10 years is a long time, bro. Yeah, I've been like, if you can add up the time that I've been in rehab uh, for the last maybe 12 years, or maybe it could be up to three years or something. Uh -huh. But the last time I went there um, in Teen Challenge in Akuru, mm -hmm. I decided, uh, I made a decision. I changed the life, mm -hmm. so I stopped. Mm -hmm. And from that point on, I decided uh, I'm going to change my music so that I do some positive hip hop, uh, send a message out there to uh, guys that are suffering, guys that are still in addiction, mm -hmm. try to bring them into the light that there is still hope out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's amazing, man. So, so many young people out there have lost hope, especially employment, hakuna employment, msana maliza shule, unatoko, unapata, hakuna kitu ya kufanya. Yeah, but I think sometimes it's also a mentality. Because mm -hmm. when you get a job, you get a job in secondary school, mm -hmm. or whatever place that you're studying in, you get a job and you decide to get a job. So it's a mentality, really, because those guys that have decided that they're going to push, mm -hmm. so they have made it. Where did you get a job? 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 If you if you sit down and decide, uh, will you put your mind to it? Mm -hmm. I will. I definitely guarantee they could have a job. Maybe you see to somebody could have a job. So we employ ourselves. Yeah, you can employ yourself. There there are a lot of ideas, a lot of things that someone can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, uh, like when I decided to change, I also got into learning a lot of things. Like I decided to teach myself how to play the keyboard. I decided to learn how to play the guitar. Uh, right now, I'm um, with a group of people that we actually teach uh, other guys how to play, play instruments. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you I can. Is that your sort of side hustle, or? Yeah. I mean, there is you rapping, but there's, there's also me rapping. Training. I'm also a sound engineer, and I'm also a teacher. Wow. Yeah. Wow. For uh, instruments. For instruments. Yeah. How is that coming up? I mean, both rapping and you know, doing. I'm not uh, exclusively a rapper mm -hmm. per se because I also do other things, uh, other other sorts of genres out there. Like uh, I do um, R&B sometimes. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of reggae songs mm -hmm. that are coming in your way, and I also dance on. So how would you define your style of music, or your uh, delivery style when it comes to music? Okay. Mine is about the message. Mm -hmm. It's usually about the message. So the way I want to uh, the, a message to appear, that's is, that is how I will frame the song. Mm -hmm. If uh, like uh, maybe a sad message that you want to appeal to people's souls or something like that, mm -hmm. I decided it will be a slow song. Uh, the, the, the current song, uh, the, the one we're talking about today, Overcomer, mm -hmm. that is just a, it's just a story of how uh, or uh, overcoming uh, uh, the person I was mm -hmm. uh, there before and the person that I am na now. Uh, it's just a, a, like a transitioning song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But otherwise, from that, there are the other tracks that are coming your way that will be defining or will be showing what my life has been and uh, the kind of life I've lived and where I'm hoping to go. Yeah. Um, is Overcomer your only first video or? Yeah, it was my first video. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, really it, I actually did it last year, mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of December. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was my first video. It was your first video. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can tell us about your other songs, your 
Yeah, I Amazing have, mm -hmm. I have uh, like, uh, uh, like ten songs. Ten uh, songs in yeah. EP form or it's an album? No, it's not an album yet. Uh, an uh, because I want to release like a hip hop album by itself. So if it's hip hop, it's hip hop. Okay. If it's reggae, it's reggae. So I've done like eight reggae songs. I've done like a few hip hop songs, but I want uh, them to become to uh, to come to a number where I can say I want to release an album. So for right now, I just want to release some singles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So back to Overcomer. Who is the producer of Overcomer? Okay. The producer. My producer is uh, Ronnie Angel mm -hmm. uh, from Holy Beat Productions. Uh, he's a Ugandan and a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to come here today, but he got caught up somewhere. Hey, shall come, boy. Uh, be a shara. Support. <laughs> yeah. Support to bro. Support to bro. Nah. Maybe I'll get Kalia interview here. <laughs> Uh, maybe. So, yeah, um, maybe mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what's your take on the current state of gospel music? I mean, we we are doing somewhat well. I mean, in de depends on the person who is singing, right? Uh, it depends on the person. And, uh, okay, it's a little bit confused right now because everyone is everywhere. Uh, you're not exactly sure if the person singing is actually representing what he's singing. But uh, I'll say... Uh, it will depend on uh, what the artist, like if I have a message that I want to preach to the people mm -hmm. and uh, I am not able to live to that message, then I, I, regard, I regard myself as fake. Really? Yeah. Because if you cannot live by what you're saying, then what are you doing it for? It's like, no it's like it's like it's not it's like hip hop mm -hmm. even in this country. Mm -hmm. You get the rappers; uh, they are rapping about a lifestyle that they don't actually have. Mm -hmm. So they are rapping about things, big things, big things. But when you go back to where they come from, uh, they're just ordinary Kenyans. May I prefer somebody that's rapping about themselves, about the experiences they have gone through, mm -hmm. about if they want to maybe put out a message, put out a message that. Uh, it's on your own level, uh, from your own level, from your own experiences or something like that, yeah. But they say that fake it till you make it is, you know, you, it's like you encouraging or attracting the success. Yeah, but some of them fake it, they fake it, they fake it until they don't know where they are anymore. <laughs> so they forget themselves, come on. Hey, Raji Zunakubaliana na Pablo Maze. You guys don't believe in faking it till you uh. make it? Yeah, you place. You you forget yourself. You get forget who you are. You forget uh, uh, where you come from. Would you mention a, an artist who has uh, done that? Right? I would rather not. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not at this moment. <coughs> you just move it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um. So, kwa song ya overcomer. Yeah. Tell us your favorite line. Like, ila line nato woki skiza you like yo. I'm the one who came up with that. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me just say the second verse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your it. favorite beat in yeah. the song. Yeah, because it's a little bit fast. I'm uh, okay. Na kibiza na yo beat to be poor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So happened uh, in Adibambiaga, especially towards the end. Happened in Akshikia. Yeah. Okay. All right. So tell us about the second verse. Uh, okay. The, the second verse is basically about uh, what I'm preaching. Mm -hmm. It's about the message that I'm trying to get out there. Uh, about, for example, uh, since I'm, uh, it's a gospel track, by the way. So uh, it's about uh, the way uh, Jesus will come into your life, about uh, how he's able to get you from what you're going through, from all the troubles that you might be in, mm -hmm. uh, to a better place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can and I tell uh, you something? Yeah. When I first heard your song, I thought you were one of those artists who are signed by Kirk Franklin. Because you have that, like, oh. the style of delivery. Nah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have that, uh, you know, those, those kind of vibes. So yeah. do you draw your inspiration from that kind of music, or where does it come from? Actually, the, uh, the person that I draw my inspiration from is not a gospel artist. Who is that? It's Talib Kweli. Mm -hmm. I like his flow. I like yeah, uh, yeah. the way he plays around with the words. Mm -hmm. Uh, someday I like a rap like that, but uh, when I'm flipping a little bit into gospel music, mm -hmm. yeah. So being, being able to deliver a message that someone you can relate to, something that you can see in pictures, mm -hmm. just by uh, saying the words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is out of the ordinary. 
Okay. But do you believe that an altered conscience could, uh, does work well in art? Yeah, I do believe so. Because uh, if you listen to some of the greatest songs mm -hmm. they did, mm -hmm. they come from uh, people who have been broken. And then uh, they are rising or they are dealing with their issues. And out of it, uh, you tell a, a beautiful, beautiful story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like in your case, you are telling us to overcome our issues, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can tell us, uh, there's a young person out there who's wondering, how am I going to break into the music industry? How am I going to be a producer? Where do I start? I mean, I'm still in form two. I don't have much, you know. What All would right. you tell that young person? Uh, I, I would say it takes a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, like, uh, when I started, May I, I will not lie to you, but when I started, it was about, you know how you're freestyling in the estate, you're just freestyling with the guys. And then, um, like, in my case, it was usually in a bar somewhere. We just freestyle, uh, even uh, for drinks. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it used to be like that. One of those winds and spirits. Or Deep down, I was posted with winds and spirits and down there. So Down town, you see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, I would say... It takes a lot of patience, mm -hmm. and uh, you get l get to listen to a lot of uh, artists, uh, see where they're coming from, learn the game. Uh, for example, I have I used to do just rap, mm -hmm. rap, 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 rap. Then I realized, yeah, with age also rap, yeah, because so I decided to venture into other styles. Mm -hmm. and realized that I can do reggae quite good, mm -hmm. and I can do other things quite, uh, quite well. Mm -hmm. Then I also decided to teach myself, because uh, in this, uh, in this um, industry, there are guys who are going to take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe producers, maybe managers, I don't know. So teach yourself how, how, teach yourself how to do some of these things. Mm -hmm. Like I taught myself how to produce uh, songs. Mm -hmm. I'm not the producer of uh, Overcomer, mm -hmm. but there are songs that are coming in with that I, I have done pr the production myself. Nice. And um, after that, uh, now the promoting that has happened your Tuko Sasa. Happened your Tuko Sasa. Yeah, so it will take a lot of patience. That's your See, next song? Sorry? I mean, what's that's the title of your next song. Hapa ndiko, ndiko tuko sasa. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, 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 great. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're wrapping up game. Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Um, so there you had it, man. So yeah. this is Pablo Mo, Akonango Makali, Inito Overcomer. And I mean, I love what you just said. True. First of all, do not give up. Just keep going. Yeah, keep going. And then it's not about CG failing and CG and then you give up. No. Uh, Bruh. Just keep at it, just keep at it until, and then teach yourself, teach yourself, because we have College of YouTube, we have Google, Dr. Yeah. Google, we have so many places, sure, including sure. him. Reach out to his social media platform, Uneza Wambia social media platform, Miyako Yeah, Number you can. Number four is your camera. Sure, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Pablo Mo, mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, I'm Sir Pablo Mo, mm -hmm. YouTube, uh, Pablo Mo also, and uh, Twitter, at Sir Pablo Mo. <laughs> That's where you can find Pablo me. Mo. Yeah. Yes, sir. You heard that, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, by the way, see you to Angushe. Ka freestyle. Sure, there's a try. Like this. Easy. There's a try. Okay. I'll do my freestyle that I did in the room. But see a bit. Sir, I'm going to go hype, man. Okay. 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 Yeah. Great. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is. Right. Not too late. I'm going to go to Angushe. And I'm going to go to Angushe. When it's angusha too, bila mix up. Okay. Yeah, capella. In yeah. it's a capella, yes. A capella. It's in a capella. A capella. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hope. Yeah, it's about time that you stop being your enemy, telling yourself you can't be the person that you ought to be. Mm -hmm. Be a great people, that's what the Bible tells me. Say, take all the doubt out of your personality and all the arcans, arrest from your sentences. As we eradicate this wilderness mentality, we see and dog gym, but we stay fit like Rift Valley athletes. Huh? Prison and worship in his hour, we burn calories. Kuchanga buka, mbaka to your touch glucose, kajasha kumwakika, kama magic, kule blue post. Dance as you each other, say to the fanya to be too cold, but anyway, only God counts. So the rest of them counterfeit, they're going around their mouths, but don't be caught listening. God wants the best of you. He don't do no average. He created you for a purpose in his master plan. So stop acting like you're failing in the ambulance. You were perfect candidate for heaven's inheritance. You were Christian, made in the image of God. And it's also that's a paradise. It's woven in the fabric of your destiny and Christ up for you so you can live through eternity. That's just a drop in the sea of his promises. Yeah, better believe in it. Cause if you don't believe in it, that you 
are your own destiny's first nemesis So when you find yourself in the place that you shouldn't be Living that life that you know so you're supposed to <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Yo, yo bring, it, bring it right back, bring it right back. Yo, Mazi, good vibes, good vibes, good vibes sure. right there, good vibes right there. And keep at it, keep up, keep up, keep, 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 keep giving keep us the out. good vibes, yes. And I keep will, giving I will, us I will, I will. the good songs and sure. the good music. And no one they like to encourage. I mean, let me tell you something. People don't know this. It's not always about entertainment. It's also about encouraging another soul out there. Yeah, I know. People yes, should focus on uh, sending a good, positive message out there. Focusing on a good and positive message yeah. out there. Great. So let's listen to Overcomer. Okay. Okay. Great. Overcomer.